So if we don't use computers during surgery, what can we, what, how can we use computers to our advantage? Well, the major companies have come out with ways of making what's called patient-specific instruments. So if you remember that kind of gory slide that I showed you with all the bone and all that stuff with the big metal blocks? Well, companies have figured out a way to take either MRIs or CAT scans of your knee and then make these cutting blocks. This is where we insert the saw and the drills during surgery in these little slots in a way that is specifically designed for your knee. And so we as surgeons can say, hey, we want to cut, we can tell the engineers, we want to cut eight millimeters of bone here at a seven degree angle with a three degree slope. And they put that in their CAD models or whatever they do and they spit these out. And so these are shipped to us. And so now when I go in to do a knee replacement, I can use these on your knee. And these are one of a kind. These are only for you, nobody else. And they're relatively inexpensive and when we're done, you can either throw them away or we can give them to you and you can put them on your mantelpiece. But they really, really improve our ability as surgeons to align the knee in a way that's most appropriate for you. And so this one on the left is uh, made by a company called Depew. It's uh, TrueMatch is the proprietary name. And it's based off of CAT scans. And this one on the right is made by a company called Biomet. And it's based off of MRI scans. And they look a little bit different, but they're essentially the same. And they add a few hundred dollars to the knee replacement, which can be a problem. It is a little bit of a problem now, but can become a problem in the future as uh, health uh, care reform and uh, Medicare cuts continue to kick in. But right now, this is something we're using commonly at this hospital. So that, those are patient-specific instruments. But this is what I think is really, really interesting and really, really exciting is what's called a patient-specific implant. So if you can take that technology that I was just telling you about where we take CAT scans and MRIs and make instruments for the knee, there's one company, Conformis, based out of Boston that's figured out a way and has a patent on using that information to actually not just make the instruments, but also make the implant. So if you look at the way this works, this looks a lot like that uh, total knee replacement I was showing you earlier. You know, same stuff, co shiny cobalt chrome up above, cobalt chrome down below, and high medical grade, high molecular weight plastic or polyethylene in between. But instead of being one of several sizes, this is one of one size based on your CAT scan that's specific to your knee. And there are a lot of advantages to that. This is uh, kind of what it looks like. This is um, a representation of this company's partial knee replacement, although they also have a total knee replacement. So what we do is if, if we decide that you're a candidate for a patient-specific knee, we'll get a CAT scan. We email that CAT scan to the company's headquarters. And then the engineers go to work designing an implant specific for you. They, you can see that the, the knee's not round and it's not square and it's not triangular. It's kind of a very complex geometrical shape. And so they're able to make an implant that perfectly fits and perfectly covers the damaged bony surfaces as well as the instruments that are necessary to put that in. So what does a patient-specific partial knee replacement offer? Well, um, I think without question, it offers a superior fit. I mean, many times we get lucky. I mean, the other companies have done a very good job of giving us a wide variety of sizes to choose from. So we can you know, choose between a three, three or a three and a half or a four or whatever to fit your knee. And it's going to fit really, really well. But it's not going to fit perfect every time. If you have a knee replacement that's made specifically for you, then it's likely going to fit pretty darn good. And I've implanted now over 100 of these devices over the last several years. I can't think of a single instance where it didn't fit well. I mean, they, they're good at what they do. And so we get full coverage on the femur and the tibia. We're not forced to choose between a little bit too big or a little bit too small. And we get the tibia in particular, the shin bone, we get the implant to fit all the way around the edge of the bone, which is important because that's where the densest or the, the strongest bone is to support the implant so that it doesn't loosen over time. The other advantage is, is that we can save bone. You know, when we put these implants in, I, saw, I showed you all the cuts that we make. You know, remember those five faceted cuts? Well, when we put these guys in, we just barely, barely trim the bone, barely shave it so that we can put the implant in so that if you ever did have to have the knee replaced again for whatever reason, most of the bone that you were born with or that you grew up with is still there. You're not missing a lot of bone. So it makes the second reconstruction, if you ever had to have one, a lot easier. So here's the different products that this company makes. This is the unicompartmental knee replacement. They've got these uh, kind of um, Apple iPod names. They have iUni, which is the unicompartmental 
uh, replacement. They've got the duo compartmental, which is the two-part replacement. And then they've got the iTotal, which, which rolled out about a little over a year ago, which is a total knee replacement. And all of these are one-of-a-kind implants made specifically for the patient who needs them. Um, this is a little bit more of the same on the uni, so I think I'll skip this. Duo, um, I put in a handful of these. Um, it's very rare in, in my experience anyway that somebody has only two parts of their knee involved with nothing whatsoever wrong with the third part of the knee where I think that this is going to be a great choice. I've, I've done these, especially in younger patients, people in their 30s and 40s who need knee replacement, um, but these are fairly rare. And then we have these totals that we've um, become very excited about. So. This is what it looks like when we're in surgery. You know, typically when we do a total knee replacement, there's multiple, multiple pans of, of instruments. There's lots and lots of instruments because there's lots and lots of different sizes and options that the surgeon has to choose from. So we see the nurses and the sterilization reps coming into the room literally on dollies with, with you know, large trays of instruments stacked six or eight or 10 feet high. When we come in to do uh, either a partial or total knee replacement, this is what we get. We get a little kit. It's kind of neat. It has a few little patient-specific instruments. It's got a couple of disposable drills and drill bits, and it's got the implants in it, and it just comes in a simple little tray. So it makes the uh, setup for the surgery much more efficient. Hospitals like that, it takes less money and less time to prepare for the surgery and to clean up afterwards. And when we have it all laid out, this is pretty much every instrument that we use for the case on the back table just set out, so not a lot to it once it's all said and done.